The Gilmore Academy girls also in Toledo. They took on Notre Dame. One minute in, Amira Dupree dishes it to Bella Calcamugio. Spots up beyond the arc, drains the three to get on the board. About a minute later, Katie Poletti gets it to Helen Holly. She splits the defenders and appears to almost dunk it there. That cuts the Lancers deficit to three once more. Gilmore takes the lead in the second. We're now in the third. Cecilia Duffy to Nikki Finazzo. Bang at the buzzer. Lancers go up 10 going to the fourth quarter. Then with five minutes to go, Nina Sims hits Calcamugio and Sophia Van Sluten then comes around. She hits the three. Eagles down by five, but Notre Dame would go on to fall 44-27. They are now four and four on the season. You know, I thought we just kind of, we were a little shell-shocked early. You know, I thought we came out with a little confidence early on, and then we hit a law offensively that kind of affected us a little bit defensively. I didn't think we played uh, a tremendous game, but it's a six-point game halfway through the fourth. A couple of opportunities rim out on us, which is, that's basketball, um, and didn't get some stops when we needed to, but, uh, you know, overall, I think it's a game we can learn and grow from, and that's something we have to do. With more on the matchup, we turn to Greg Frankie and Nikki McCoy. Well, an exciting way to start 2024 as the Notre Dame Eagles taking on Gilmore Academy in girls basketball, a team that plays one of the top schedules in all of Ohio. They have a 5-2 and two record. They've got Holly Hunt, who is a, uh, a Michigan State recruit who made some unbelievable plays. Elena Klein-Rominski, whose father was an all-MAC player, Bowling Green, she was an outstanding player too. But through all that, Notre Dame was right there in the game halfway through the fourth quarter. They did a lot of things right. They sure did. They did things right the entire game. Not only were they up, up with them until the fourth quarter, uh, they were leading in the beginning of the game. Uh, they went into halftime down one, and I think that was really indicative of the great defense that Notre Dame was playing. Obviously, you have players like Helen Holly, like you just mentioned, that are going to do great things, but I think Notre Dame did a really good job uh, playing against them tonight. Well, they certainly played outstanding defense throughout the entire game, intense defense, and forced Gilmore to work. I thought probably the key play of the game was in the uh, third quarter right at the end. Notre Dame played tremendously scrappy defense for about 30 or 40 seconds for an extended period. They didn't really get any kind of shot, but they still made a three-point shot that gave them a 10-point lead, and that might have uh, just uh, had a psychological effect entering the fourth quarter. And I think that's honestly reverse psychology because Notre Dame does such a good job of usually taking their time, getting the right shot off, passing the ball around, but then it was their turn to play defense for about 30 seconds, and then they got a, a shot at the end. But I think both teams, like I said, played great defense tonight. I wouldn't be surprised. That uh, Gilmore team had a veteran backcourt. They really worked the ball very well in tandem, and they matched Notre Dame's defensive intensity, so I would not at all be surprised that they were around deep in the postseason, and this has got to help Notre Dame going into playing some of the top teams in the Detroit Catholic League. It definitely does, and I think Coach Galloway has to look at his players like Amira Dupree, Jade Battle, you know, some of those girls that were guarding a player like Helen Holly, and then his, po his guards that were going, getting down and doubling and kind of... Uh, reaching down to help out, digging down. I think that he has to see that his, his group does a really good job of being able to play some of those better players. So now that you uh, get farther down the line in the season, you should be able to make some stops. Now, now that they've seen Holly's disappearing act, they'll <laughs> probably be prepared next time for it. A really good game. Gilmore wins it, though, over Notre Dame in a, in a score in the end that was uh, a lot wider margin than really this, the uh, game was throughout.